like 10 o'clock. Um, Colton is, just went down for his nap. I'm finishing up packing for our um, trip to Cincinnati. We are actually gonna leave tonight because by the time again, EEG done um, tomorrow. So we're gonna leave tonight. She actually has to be sleep deprived for that. So we're gonna keep her up until um, around midnight or a little later. And then that's um, when we are gonna leave, depending on like when we get everybody awakened in the car. Um, I will do probably all of the driving um, or at least most of it. Um, I just prefer to drive. It's a lot easier for me to just drive um, and John will probably sleep. Um, I'll still probably take her to her appointment and drop everybody off at the hotel. Um, and, um, and then once we're done with the appointment, then maybe I'll take a nap. Um, who knows? Just means a lot of Starbucks for mama. Um, so she won't go to bed until between 12 and one, and then we have to have her back up by six o'clock the latest, and then she cannot nap until her EEG appointment, um, which her EEG appointment is at two, um, and we have to be there at 1.30. So it's definitely gonna be a long night um, and a fun day. That's why we're leaving at night so that she can sleep in the car and we don't have to try to keep her up in the car um, because that would just be impossible. We have done sleep deprivation before, but we didn't have like an eight hour drive um, for that sleep deprivation or we've already been in the hospital when we've started sleep deprivation. Um, the reason why they do this is just to make sure um, that they sleep um, during the EEG for the quick EEGs because this isn't um, a long-term one. It'll just be about an hour um, for the long-term ones. When we do sleep deprivation for that, it's to try to trigger a seizure. Um, but right now, her doctor just wants to see what's going on in her brain right now and make sure she's not having any subliminal seizures or anything like that that could be explaining all of the issues that we are having right now. So I'm going to um, finish packing up for the trip and then um, at some point today I have to make a trip to Once Upon a Child to get rid of a bunch of stuff um, that we don't need for the kids anymore before our big move. We were going to do that this weekend, but now it is changing. Um, we do have a surprise for the kids this weekend, um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll just, I'm not really sure what else we're going to do for the rest of the day. This vlog will probably just mostly be packing. I choose this one. Can you say it? Say, I choose. Can you say it? I choose that. This one. Say it, say, Riley, can you say, I, I choose this one? <laughs> Good job. My turn? Yeah. I like the yellow one. Yeah. Which one are you gonna get? Mm, three. What color? Blue. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Yeah. Which one do you have, Colton? Yeah. My turn? Yeah. I like, I like this one. Yeah. It's black and yellow. And me. Hold on with two hands. Are the puppies going to watch? You can put the puppy on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm spinning. Ah! Or she can stand ah. on it. Ah, ah, ah. Watch. Spin. Or she doesn't have very da. good Dad! The puppies can go down the side? Yeah! Okay. 
put the phone down for them over here. Okay, puppies, go have fun. I'll be playing on my skateboard with my hairbrush. Can you put this puppy down the side? Go, puppy, go! I'm watching you! Go, go, go! Whee! So, it is about 11.30 at night. Um, I just woke up from about an hour and a half nap. Um, just since I will be up all night driving. Um, I tried to take a longer one, but of course I couldn't fall asleep. And then I just hopped out of the shower um, just to kind of wake me up. Now I'm going to go downstairs and finish packing, I'm making sure we've got everything, Riley's still awake, um, Colton's the only one sleeping and we'll wake him up right before we leave because um, we're just going to put him in the car and hope that he falls back asleep once we start driving. Hey guys, so it's like four o'clock on Thursday. We are in Cincinnati. We actually just got to the hotel and um, we got Riley's EG done. Um, I'm exhausted. I've been up all night. I drove the whole entire way and then we actually I actually hit a deer at like 5 o'clock this morning. I was driving down the interstate going like 80 and all of a sudden the deer popped out and I could not stop. So now when we get back we have to get our car fixed and we will probably be without our car for a while because um, body damage takes a really long time to fix. So I'm not really sure what we'll do. Um, but that's kind of how our day has been. Um, now we're just kind of relaxing at the hotel and really won't be doing much besides just grabbing dinner um, until tomorrow when Riley, um, Riley has a neurology appointment. John's mom and grandma is meeting us here to pick up John's sister and my sister-in-law um, and then we're actually doing something special with the kids this weekend um, tomorrow and Saturday um that john's mom is doing for them for their birthday so um that'll be really exciting and i know they're gonna love it so that's really it for now um i did get some like video and um pictures of her eeg so um i will will put those in um but yeah Oh, <laughs> <laughs>